it's not companies who are driving it. Mm. For the first time, it's consumers who are driving yeah. it. So what happens today is, so when I was a brand manager, we managed the show. <laughs> right. So you chose where and how and how consumer reacted. Today, the beauty is marketing become democratized. Yeah. The only few days in my life in which I'm super happy and elated when you meet your own professor or when you meet somebody who is as big as uh, the director of a business school. Hi, sir. How are you doing? I'm great. How it's are you lovely doing? having. I'm doing awesome. It's lovely having Ajit sir on board, the director of Goa Institute of Management. Nearly 23 years, sir, at GIM. Yes, this is my 23rd. 23 years at GIM. I was sir, sorry, but I'm more excited about the SPG days and 10 years at SPG in Bombay as well. This is so many. He is the brand management guy. Today we're going to talk about a small case study, like a brand management or a marketing 101 class. I'm going to share his thoughts and try to take the best out of him. Let's begin, sir. Uh, by the way, please tell us your story. Um, what's your uh, uh, when? What's brand management first of all? So brand management is really about building brands. You know, making your customers love those brands and have a win-win. So the company is happy, customer is happy. Society is happy. Yeah. I sometimes feel a brand ho to, matlab, India mein, it should be like the Tata. So if I have to build a brand like Tata, what do you think? Why Tata is Tata? So I don't think Tata wanted to build a brand Tata. Mm. I think what, what's important is to be authentic. And being authentic means uh, you know, do what's best for your customers. Don't run after profit. Don't run after building the brand. Customers are happy. They will make sure that they're going to be profitable for you. Mm. Profitable customers are happy customers, and that's what builds brand. This is so amazing. And uh, what happens? Uh, I mean, these days, these are new new age. Like Apple is always the top five brands in the world. Yeah. Coca Cola is the top five. Warren Buffett says, like people ask him, like, why do you invest on this brand, Coca Cola? He pe he keeps the bottle there, and he says, this is never going to die. Yeah. And what's your take on brands like Coca Cola, Microsoft, Apple, Google, or my ex company GE? We are always in the top ten as well. How, sure. how do you sustain? I mean, again, the trust or the... Absolutely. So, so brands have to be able to, you know, invent and reinvent their se themselves so that they, became rele they become relevant to customers. Mm -hmm. So, the brand that have remained relevant for a long period of time. So, it is not that Coca-Cola was doing exactly the same thing for over a hundred years. Yeah. As, as customers changed, Coca-Cola changed. Right. As any of them, as Apple changed. Apple was originally a, a Mac company right. and Apple today is a very different company that's you know a, a devices entertainment company yeah. and Apple Tim Cook has just said in the future they're going to be a healthcare company. What? Yeah, is Tim it? Cook has already said that. Because they've got so much data. Yes, data because of all the data. Yeah. Sir is the healthcare guy as well by the way. He's the first one, among the first one in the country who set up a, any healthcare management program at GIM. Am I right? Sir? Absolutely. Yeah. So how come I mean from the brand to healthcare? And sir has done multiple degrees as well. So please tell me your degrees first of all. What all you have done? <laughs> so my, my undergraduate is pharmacy. My first postgraduate is uh, M Pharm and pharmacology. Then a MBA in marketing, and MSc in health economics from London School of Economics, and a PhD in marketing. This is so. <laughs> that's too yeah. much. I've done a couple of degrees here, and then people ask me this question, but this is this is like the yeah. epitome. That's lovely. So moving in forward, so talking about more about the brand, what kind of questions, I'm going to ask him this question in the next two minutes, what kind of questions he's going to ask in the interview. But sir, if you have to talk about marketing per se, the right fitment, um, are the companies doing um, in the correct way? You think uh, the influencer marketing being picking up, um, the traditional marketing being going down, going down the drain, the 360 marketing, the, the radio ads going down. Correct. Correct. Where do you think is the future and how the companies are investing right now? Is it right? Yeah, I think absolutely it is. So what's happening is, as a result, I will choose when, where and what I want to watch. And therefore, what companies need to do is understand that pulse, be in touch with the, with the consumer. And accordingly, you know, keep it an interactive communication. Let the consumer lead you to places where you see brands built, profits made, satisfaction of consumers. I think that's the way of today. Super. So you need to know where your customer is, what he, what he, he is he looking at, and your ad should pop up there. Absolutely. I Super. mean, that's the way it should be. Which is your favorite brand, if I have to ask you, sir? Is it the new age ones, or are you still old school and traditional? Oh, no. So I have a I have variety of different brands in different you know categories. And I think the brand would span from brands like, you know, I love Nike, for example, in, in, in the entire uh, apparel, the entire yeah. kind of diversified segment. Yeah. 
uh, at the same time, I think, you know, a brand that I'm proud of, an Indian brand is Mahatma Gandhi is a great brand. Okay. But you don't wow. see, you don't see the brand in that light, but, you know, it's transformed the world into being conflict, large conflicts being resolved peacefully yeah. rather than through violence. I think what bigger than a brand like that. Okay. I'm proud about, you know, Indian brands like Tata, uh, you know, benevolence, contribution to society, nation building. I think what more do you want? Great, sir. So, moving in forward, what's your advice to these young guys like 21, 20, before we come to the, the marketing question which you're going to ask in the interview? Uh, what's your recommendation to these 21, 22 years? They're like young. They're like four or five audience also sitting up here. They are young, on the go, Instagram generation, 15 seconds, next reel, next reel. They're all life laughing in here. Attention spans are low right now. Yeah. And um, which is affecting our, including me as well, affecting our health, blah, blah, blah. What's your advice? Because they're all going to be MBA. Some of them are going to go to SPJ, uh, my alma mater. Some of them are going to come to GIM and study with you. Yeah. But what's your take to or advice to them? So my, my advice regarding, I'm, first advice is directly linked to higher education and what kind of institution and what education you're looking at. <coughs> I think don't look at education only in terms of the job that you're going to get. It is important. Employability is important. But I think education is also important for you to discover what your passion for the rest of your life is going to be. Wow. Right? So, so I, you know, if you're going to limit it to to how employable you're going to be, then it's a waste of time that GIM, SPJ and IIM are, are wasting time on you because, you know, getting into institutions like that, you're already employable because you're good. You anyway made it to a place, you're bright enough to be able to do reasonably well. But if you're really looking at them, therefore making you a better contributor, I think that's important. Otherwise, what you're going to do is you're going to enter uh, you know, into GIM and be either a finance guy or a marketing guy or an ops guy or whatever else, that's not life. Right. Life is really about being a guy or girl, sorry, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. someone someone who, who is kind of diversified, you know, looking at play sport, play music, love the arts, you know, do variety of things and sir, understand. Sir what you're is big about. time into sports and music as well. You learn, you 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 play you play guitar as well, sir. Yeah, yeah I play the guitar. I suck at the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The best thing is knowing about how much you know. But but I'm sure you're being modest, sir. You're being, uh, people who come to GIM or you go to uh, any of the top business schools, there are some treks also being organized. Yes. Know? SPG in Bombay also we have a PG lab kind of thing. Yes. I heard you took last year to this all the students to the mountains as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, we, yeah. we took them here in Goa also as a lot of hills. You can see just around our campus, there are beautiful western Sir, ghats. this is not Goa. Yeah, yeah. This is like a mini Manali <laughs> being honest. Trust me, this is not Goa. If you come into GIM, sorry, sir, but uh, you have to rebrand ourselves. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we, are, we are in the hills. We are in the hills. We are trust in the hills. Me. Trust me. With a view to the beach, you know. <laughs> With a view to the beach. So amazing, sir. So amazing. So, number one is find a passion, you know, and then you do it and live life, as you said. So, doing multiple things helps? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't be, you know, you can't be blinkered and saying, this is all that I do in life. What a boring life it would be. <laughs> Kya baat hai, sir. Kya baat. I mean, but people say like you have to be jack of all and master of one to hona chahiye. Ek to so, skill so chahiye. So something interesting that, that, you know, I've been reading on yeah. is when you say expertise, you know, people confuse expertise as being depth, right? Hmm. So it could be, you could have two types of expertise. You need not have only deep expertise. You could also have broad expertise. Mm. And therefore, there are, there are a lot of managers typically, if you look at people who are scientists, yeah. researchers, yeah. you expect narrow topics, yeah. extreme depth. Right. Right? right. But when you're looking at CEO of a company, you're not expecting them, you know, I know I'm a master this. of one. Yeah. You have to have broad, you can't have, you know, broad understanding. It can't be right. superficial many things. Right. Broad expertise where you can connect the dots. Yeah. Between consumers, between science and technology, between humanities, between, you know, what's happening. Finance, and finance economics, economics, the budget, you know, yeah. all these things put together. And I think that's what MBAs need to look at, get broad expertise. So expertise is wider as well. That's a yeah, new yeah. thing, sir. Yes. I, I'm, I'm saving myself from this because I, I, when I was growing up, people told me like, depth, have one thing in control and then, yeah. and in the start, maybe to get a respect from other people in the crowd, you need to be known for that thing, maybe. So, so actually, start. actually, these are two different things. Okay. You could have both. Okay. But, but you know, I think the roles we are looking at, as I just said, for a CEO, that's what you'll need yeah, to do. Managers it. need to do a little bit more of that. Yeah. But if you're starting your career, and you say, you know, you've got broad expertise, not going to work. Not going to work. Then you know, start I, yeah. with the focus, and then then just being like a scientist, yeah. like master of one. In yeah. G, we have a value system called expertise. 
So you need to have that one particular thing and then you route it out. You should be known for that. Great. Yeah. This is so lovely interacting, sir. I'm so humbled. Thank you so much for having such a candid discussion. People on the videos, do it in the like button and uh, for sure, do share this video with other folks who are preparing for their applications. If you have any questions regarding GIM, SPGN or the interview processes, we'll be more than happy to answer in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much for uh, uh, giving My me pleasure. time, sir. It's lovely. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Take care. Thank you, guys, and have a good day ahead. Bye-bye. Take care. Drop in a profile in the comment section. We can check your profile, evaluate. Are you fit for the achievers round and the profile-based round of the top business schools? I'll go through the same and I'll maybe share with sir as well what you guys are into. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Take care.